hi everybody sanbonani welcome to my channel so here is another skebenga here because south africa is full of skebengas <laughs> here is baba skebenga here who also has skipped the country okay am i the only one who equates forex trading with scamming because the minute I hear someone say forex trading, I just, in my ears, I hear scam, 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 scam. So, th because there's so many people that use uh, that term forex trading to actually scam people. But uh, I'm always surprised that there's always people that are being scammed, even though there's been so many uh, warnings issued uh, on certain people about this. But let's talk about this guy, okay? So this Kayo uh, Sandile Shezi was one of those stories that were supposed to be a success story for a uh, black community because obviously he was at some point called the youngest millionaire in South Africa. And it turned out to good to know he was doing some shady stuff. So now uh, this is not the first time that he is wanted by the police. It seems like when he circles one case and there's another one. And by this find that what's happening with him now because apparently he has done a turbo bester too. Okay. It says here a well known forex trader on the run from the police. This is a story by Ukama Daile and he is writing it for Zimoja. He has been missing for months without a trace. Forex trader and alleged scammer Osandi Lesheze has been untraceable since uh, the word got out that the South African police had a warrant of arrest for defrauding several people through forex trading and Bitcoin scams. Earlier this year, the father of the forex trader died and was buried in his hometown in KwaZulu Natal. According to a friend, Sandile left everything in South Africa, including his wife and kids. The money he made on the scams, he invested it in offshore accounts and preparing for the day he decides to leave. But we all thought he would at least take his wife and kids, a former friend tells Zimoja. Uba for Ushie, his wife and the kids and just ran away from uh to go live ran away from them i i think they made a mistake here to go live in the middle east but the question is until when he can't run forever because his kids need him last year the one uh back magistrate court withdrew the case of fraud against him after he paid 200,000, which he allegedly defrauded an investor, Angela Mabena. This came after businessman El Ellen Litwaba dropped the charges after he received his money back from Sandile. He portrayed an expensive lifestyle with cars and watches on social media, calling himself the youngest self made millionaire from forex trading. Sandile became well known over six years ago as a self-made youngest crypto and forex millionaire. He is the owner of the global forex institute company which is accused uh, by its victims of fraud. Sandile is not the only one who has been accused of scamming through forex and crypto. DJ Zintler's ex Brandon Naidu, Temba, Krutman, Silatle, Jablani, Cashflow, and Gobo are just some of the names which have been labeled scammers. These victims keep surfacing. Sandila is dealing with a lengthy legal battle involving victims who opened cases of theft against him. The self proclaimed multimillionaire has been named by Limpopo men for scamming him. 1 million rand and has since opened a case against him. Sandile currently owes half a million rand and 200,000 rand payments to two victims who invested in crypto forex trading company. Police have allegedly issued a warrant for his arrest on the 8th of December. This follows after various cases of fraud were opened against him, which amounts to more than 750,000. Since the cases have been opened, Sandile has been unreachable and laying low. Police spokesperson Marvel Lamassonde confirmed that a case has been opened and warrants issued. A warrant of arrest has been issued by the police. A team is helping uh, with the search and investigating Sandile could not be reached in his old numbers, which has been off for some time. Listen, you guys. 
I don't know. Because Usandile, yes, at some point, people thought that he was this legit uh, youngest millionaire. But for like a couple of years now, uh, there's been talks of him uh, uh, defrauding people. So I don't understand, like, if you're going to give somebody money and it's a lot of money for investment, wouldn't you Google them first? Because if you Google Sandy Lachese, you are going to come across these stories of him scamming people or and uh, uh, him being wanted by the police and all of that. How do people still give this person money? I don't know. Because it doesn't sound like it's old, like, investments, you know. Even as he is being wanted by the police, he still, it sounds like he's still receiving money from people. Anyway, you guys, um, private jets, you know, they don't care enough about this one. <laughs> Ooh, hi, South Africa. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Tell me what you think about this in the comment section. Share it with your friends, with your family, and even with strangers in Tanda.